Yeah, YouTubers, I would just like to share some information with you. This is a tick pedal I bought on eBay, and I'm um, just going to show you what it is and what it's actually doing. As this thing is not really working all that well for me, it's got two connectors, two plugs on it. It's got a two pin, which is this one. I don't know if you can see this one. A two pin connector, and it's got a three pin connector as well. Both goes in. I think that's a two pin one and that's a three pin one. Three pin and two pin wires that goes in it. Now I unscrew this box as I say. Uh, it's not working what, what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to regulate the current or the voltage uh, going to the tick torch so you can control it. It's a called a tick control pedal. So I've done all the screws on the side, I'm just going to show you what's on the inside of it. Basically it's it's got a, a two dollar micro switch there, which is just a micro switch, it's a make and break switch. And then uh, as you can see there's a two wires coming in. The one wire just goes to the micro switch that basically turns the mic on and off and then this is the one that's actually supposed to regulate the current or uh, or the voltage which is a 10k uh, see if you can try and get it better um, I'll try and zoom in a bit This camera just doesn't want to focus, but that's a 10k uh, resistor. It's just a slide pot. So, and this is how it works. It's got a little arm, and that's connected to the slide pot of the resistor. And when you press the pedal, it actually slides it up and down. And then it's got a spring in there that returns the pedal back to the top position so. so when you push it down it slides down as you can see there and it goes up down and it should increase the power and it should decrease it as you come up then further the micro switch is just below the pedal so when you lift up the pedal there's a little micro switch so when it goes down, it touches it and it opens up and breaks the contact of the micro switch. Now I bought this pedal to use on my rolling machines and as I say, and that's, uh, there's a, a stopper there so you can't travel too far down with the, with the pedal and damage the uh, resistor that's on the side there. So it's just, a, it's just like a volume control, a slide volume control, and it's a 10k resistor uh, that slides, it's just a 10k slide resistor. Now the machines I was going to use it on is this MIC 220VZ, which is uh, a MIC welder, uh, it's, it's a 3-in-1 machine, it's got MIC, TIG, uh, MMA, and you can control the wire speed. Uh, for the MIG welder to quick or slow so you can see it either for uh, TIG welding at the moment it's TIG on and it's set to TIG there if you want to set it for MMA you put it for towards MMA and you put TIG off and in your earth you put it on the positive side for MMA and for uh, tick welding. When you set it for MIG welding, you gotta have it to MIG off, both switches down, and set this one to quick. Just like that. And for tick welding, you turn it to tick on and to tick. 
And for MMI, you got to turn the TIG off, or turn it to off, and turn MMI on. But for MMI, you got to have it on positive, as well as for uh, TIG welding, you got to have your earth clamp on the positive side. And when you do uh, MIG welding, you got to reverse it. So you turn it back onto MIG there. And turn MIG back on there, so you got MIG and MIG. And then set your wire speed. And then you s the same earth clamp it was on a, on a positive side, then you got to put it to the negative side and just tighten it up. So that goes to the negative side then for uh, MIG welding. And as you can see, the same one fits. 100% the same in the positive side. No difference. So, there is the one 3 in 1 machine, which is a Chinese made inverter welder. So, that's how it looks from the side. Make thick MMA. The make is a Nevada. Nevada Pro. There I got my argon cylinder here, and that's got your flow regulator plus your main gauge to show how much pressure there is in the tank. And to set your argon uh, regulator, you can take the cat nut off, and there's the Allen key bolt, and then you can adjust it up or down to adjust to get more flow if your flow doesn't go high enough. And then just put your cap back your, to, lo to lock it up again. And then you just adjust your flow up or down here. So your ball goes up or down to get the right flow. Then I've got this other machine here, which is also a 3-in-1 machine. It's a Mashita DC inverter. And that's got a gauge on it with an auto trap. That's set to uh, 480 kPa or 4.8 bar and that's what I use for plasma cutting which is this one here, that's your plasma cutter here and that's hooked up straight onto the Mishito which is also a 3-in-1 machine I'll have a look at this one, it's the CT, CT318 Chinese made and it's got cut for plasma or you put it in the middle um, just like that that's the MMI that's for arc welding or stick welding and you press all the way up for TIG welding and that's uh, that's 120 amp or 30 amp plasma and then uh, you, you got your TIG welding so and I normally use it just for cutting this one. This machine here, which is my heavy, that's a 120 amp machine. Also, inverter technology, DC inverter. And Nevada too is also a DC, only a DC machine. Metric MMA inverter. And this one's got 220 amps. And it's got the speed for your wire speed, so plus or minus, you can turn it up or down. And then it shows you, uh, yeah, MIG, TIG or MMA, and then your wire speed. The wire spool is just inside here, under this cover here, I'm not going to open it up now. And this is where your gas comes out. For your... your your tick, um, tick uh, gun, which is this one here. So that's got a, a little make and break switch on it too. So I'm going to show you how to modify this pedal in the next uh, thing. I'm going to give it a go and see if I can modify it to work on these machines. Now the difference with this machine and a pedal I've got is it's got a two-pin connector 
which is the same as that one there and exactly the same problem with the bottom one is it's also a two pin which is the same exactly the same and here's the the mech torch that comes from the top and that's the mech that just goes in there as you can see now the problem is I can't control my tick with this pedal and I've got to find a way to modify it and I'll show you in the next part which is going to be part 2 of the tick pedal modification of the tick pedal uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.